Lee Selby, you've just signed with Matchroom Sport. How does it feel? It's, it's very exciting times for me to, to get to showcase my talents on, on Sky Sports. I'm very grateful for Eddie Hearn's belief in me. And I'm just looking forward to the future. Now. You looked great in your last fight against Martin Lindsay. Eddie sort of mapped out a rough route for you. Are you excited about getting potentially a European title fight later on in the year? Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd like to win the um, Lonsdale Bar outright and then hopefully challenge for the European title, like Eddie said, in, in Cardiff. And then keep defending it and move on to the world stage. Yeah? How important has it been sparring out in America? We heard some interesting stories there from Chris Sanigar, but your time in the Mayweather gym, it must have been sort of priceless in some ways. Yeah, well, well aspiring over there is just, just like a fight. It's hostile. You, like, like Chris said, there's, there's guys banging on the canvas, cheating for their man. So like, it, it prepares you f for going into hostile territory. You know? into the, like I've been doing, I've been going into the other, the other fighters, the opponent's backyard, and beating them there, so it's good, good preparation for them. Eddie alluded to it earlier. Your style is pretty unique in British boxing. You haven't got a typical European style. You're adopting a bit of the Mayweather kind of shoulder roll, Philly shell kind of defence. How difficult is it actually? Because you see a lot of young fighters trying that sort of style, but it's not as successful as the sort of Mayweathers and Broners who adopt that sort of style. How difficult is it to use that style and how effective is it? I, I, I don't find it too difficult. Cause I, I've got quite a bit of natural ability. And as, as a... Oh boy, that's, that's what I used to watch, like the Thomas Hearns, Floyd Mayweather and all, all them type of fighters. So I've just picked it up. So you've been a big fan of that Detroit sort of style of fighting, James Tony as well, they, they roll off the shoulder. Yeah, definitely Thomas Hearns, I, I like um, all, all those type of fighters, all the old fighters. Who is on your immediate radar in either in Britain, Europe or the world that you'd like to fight at featherweight? I'd like to box Alexander Miskirchen, the European champion. He, he, he's my main choice if I could choose an opponent. You look very big in your last fight. You said here, and your, um, Chris Sanigar said as well, that you don't struggle to make featherweight, but is a move up to super featherweight or lightweight sort of realistic in the next couple of years? To tell the truth, I could do super bantam if, if it was the right fight. So I, I don't mind super bantam, featherweight, super feather, lightweight, any, anything. I don't mind. Uh, just a quick word about your brother. He's doing exceptionally well in the WSB. Have you had words with him as he talked about going pro? Or have you encouraged him to stay in the amateur code? Well, with the money he's getting off the WSB and the, the GB, I, I don't think he's got a need need to turn pro. Well, I, I think he he's probably the the best talented boxer in Britain out of everybody. Wales, South Wales in particular, is a very famous hotbed for boxing talent. Right back um, over the years, even hundreds of years, you've been producing world champions. How important is it for you to be representing Wales on the world stage? Definitely, it would be great. The, the last, just just winning the Lonsdale, the Lonsdale belt outright. I think the last guy was Johnny Owen. That was, that was about 40 years ago. So it'd be nice to, just to, to achieve that, you know. And one last question. Um, we know your brother's an exceptional amateur. How about yourself? You turned pro quite a few years ago now. But how did you do as an amateur? And did you did you win any national titles, etc., as an amateur? I, I didn't train like like I should have as an amateur. Not like I do now. But I, but I won the Welsh ABAs every year. I entered it from the age of 10. Till, till 22. Well, um, when, when my brother went for the GB trials, that's when I turned pro. So I, I, I doubt I would have been as, as good as him if I did say amateur, but you know.